Hello everyone, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery and in this video we'll be painting this beautiful moon moth serving bowl. As always, our supplies will be listed on the lesson plan so grab that before we get started. Alrighty, so we're going to start by using a pencil to trace over the images included on the lesson plan onto pieces of tissue paper. You can either trace all the designs into one large piece and then cut them off later or if it's easier to, to trace the images on smaller pieces of paper, do it that way. This will just make it easier for the pieces to wrap around the bowl, making it easier for us to trace them and since we're going to trace everything kind of twice, we want to make sure that um, it's the most comfortable for us to do so. So once you have your pieces of tissue paper cut out, however, you want them to be cut out you're going to um, start tracing and we're going to start tracing the flowers on, on the lower part of the bowl and we're going to start by uh, making sure that the end of the leaves or the edge of the leaves is kind of touching the uh, edge of the bowl and this will make it so that way we can fit all the other pieces onto our bowl as we want them to be once we have traced the right side or the left side of the of the leaves, whichever you want to do, um, we're going to flip the sheet of tissue paper and then we're going to trace the other side the same way. So keep in mind, you want to make sure that your um, sheets are kind of aligned to one another. So making sure that your stems and things like that touch wherever you start your next row and things like that. Once you're done with your leaves, you can start on the moth. So what I did for the moth is that I just scooted it up a little bit more to making sure that it was centered as best as possible, um, but that I also had space for the other things I wanted to add. And then I just went ahead and used my my Sharpie marker and I uh, traced it all over. I used color so that way you guys could see a little bit better of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Um, so you see this section here, um, I traced one side and I had the moon perfectly aligned, so I just traced that as well. And then I just connected connected or flipped the, the page and then connected the lines again to the moth and then retraced the other side of the moth and there we have it, a full moth. So after all of that, make sure to add the star that goes above the moth. Okay, now we're going to start painting. So we're going to use the small brush to paint the moth's wings, the smaller twinkle star inside its body, the twinkle stars by the moon and the moons with one to two coats of mellow yellow. So for this section, we have some things that are going to go on top of um, these wings and whatnot. It's the same thing with the moon. So make sure um, that you go into it and paint one to two coats, but don't worry about it being perfect. And don't worry about covering the marker lines. That is going to still be visible for us later. We're going to rinse off the small brush and with it we're going to add some messy strokes to the edges of the moth's largest wings with one coat of old yellow. So these ones don't have to be perfect, it's just adding a little um, bit of of a darker color on top of that mellow yellow. Um, then I'm going to use the same brush to add messy shadows to the moons and the twinkle stars with old yellow. I'm also adding a little accent underneath uh, the smaller wing so it's just a little kind of crescent shape, that kind of thing. Now I'm going to use a small or a medium brush to messily paint the center star with one to two coats of water yolk. Okay, so now we're going to use the detail brush to paint the moth's antennas with one to two coats of pumpkin pie. With the same brush and the same color, I'm going to paint a line in the middle of the moth's head and I'm also going to paint the smaller wings underneath the larger wings of the moth and I'm going to also leave a little crescent shape um, where I added that old yellow earlier on. This is just to add a little um, accent to the wings. Alrighty, so next we're going to use that same detail brush or you can switch to a small round brush and we're going to paint all the flowers underneath the moth with one to two coats of pumpkin pie. Don't be afraid to go fast and load the brush on thick for these as we will paint um, an outline around them later on. So don't worry about their shape. We're going to fix them once uh, we have the basic coat on there. So for now, just make sure to paint all the flowers. I'm going to keep on going after I do one side, um, just because the other side is the same thing. Okay, so once you're done painting the flowers, you're going to rinse off the detail brush and with it, you're going to paint the top and bottom of the moth's head with one to two coats of mocha fudge.
Now we're going to paint the moth's body using the same detail brush and the same mocha fudge paint. Uh, make sure that when you're painting the body, you remember to um, outline the sparkle on the center of its body and paint around it. Okay, so once we're done, we're going to use the detail brush again, but this time we're going to use it to paint the bottom part of all the flowers with one to two coats of mocha fudge. So again, I'm gonna do one side and then I'm just gonna skip to the next step. So feel free to pause this section and continue on um, once you're ready to continue on. Now we're going to use the detail brush to paint three lines that connect to the moth's head with mocha fudge. As you see, I used a pencil first, so just so I knew how far and how long I wanted to make my lines. Now we're gonna add a dot to the start of all the lines using the same mocha fudge color. You can use a Q-tip or the back of a pencil eraser. small round brush now we're going to paint all the leaves underneath the flowers so feel free to get messy with this one just because we just want to have the area painted remember we're going to outline and uh, clean up all those edges so it's okay if your lines don't meet quite right um, you just have to make sure that everything is coated with one to two coats and we'll be able to fix and align things a little bit better so for this part I'm just gonna let it play but remember I'm gonna always do one side and then I'm gonna skip on to the next section so if you need to pause feel free to do so. So now we're going to wait for the larger elements to dry and in the meantime we're going to add some accents to the moth. So we're going to use a q-tip or the back of a pencil and we're going to paint a few mellow yellow dots around the moth's body and on the lower part of its head. And the smaller wings and things like that we can use a smaller brush uh, or a smaller uh, tool to give us smaller dots and things like that. Then we're going to use the detail brush and um, we're going to paint the oval eyes with the same color. You can use the detail brush or the back of a brush, whatever you feel the most comfortable with. Now we're going to let the inside of the bowl have some time to dry and we're going to work on the outside. Make sure that to remove the sticker if it's still on the bottom of your piece. Um, now we're just going to use a large square brush and we're going to paint the top half of the bowl using one to two coats of mellow yellow. So for, by the top part, I mean when you flip it over, that's going to be the top part of the bowl. I'm just doing one to two coats of mellow yellow on this section and I'm going about halfway. Now let's rinse off the brush and with it we're going to paint the lower half of the bowl with one to two coats of pumpkin pie. Once you're done with the pumpkin, feel free to add another coat of messy strokes with the mellow yellow to the middle of both colors um, to blend them a little bit more naturally. So wherever they meet, that's when you would add another coat of that mellow yellow. Now we're going to flip the bowl over and with the detail brush we're going to outline all the larger shapes and fill in all the small gaps with one to two coats of black lab. Keep in mind that the detail brush allows the paint to be brushed on a little bit thicker so make sure to load your brush well and don't worry about coats as much. My highest advice would be to make sure that to outline all your shapes first and then as you're going along fill in any gaps you see that are small enough to be filled in with the detail brush um, and remember that the detail brush gives you a good two coats on the first use as long as you load your brush as you should. Um, if you feel uncomfortable loading your brush too heavily make sure to just get a little bit of paint on get a shape going first and then go in and add another coat to that. At this point, I would highly suggest that you keep an eye out on the marker lines. These are going to be great guiding lines for the star or for the um, moons and things like that. So just use that as your guiding point. Um, and then from this point out, I'm just going to continue on outlining and things like that. You're going to see some clips of me outlining and uh, filling in some areas. So you're more than welcome to follow along and watch along as you see fit.
Now we're going to fill in the larger gaps with the small round brush and one to two coats of Black Lab. To finish off the black on the inside of the bowl, I'm just going to use the uh, sponge on a stick to paint the rim of the bowl with Black Lab. This part is totally optional, but if you'd like to, you could use a toothbrush or a small fan brush to splatter the bottom of the bowl with Black Lab. With the back of a small brush, you can add a few dots around the bowl with Polar Bear to create little stars. It is also optional, but if desired, you can use a small brush to add a few shadow strokes of Old Yeller to the moth's twinkle star and the dots on its body. All right, so we're all done. Uh, this platter is going to become so much more beautiful once it's fired, even though it's beautiful now, let's be honest. It's such a contemporary piece. It looks so fun, and um, it's definitely going to steal the show in any house, right? So thank you so much for painting with me today. I hope you had fun. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.